for tuning in. My name is Nabila Khalida and I'm still here at KL Convention Center for KL20 Summit 2024, an inaugural event to elevate and to foster innovation for the whole ecosystems of startups and also investments uh, as well. So to discuss further, joining me right now is a group a CEO of Cradle Funds in Denver uh, Norman Matthew Van Hacker. Thank you so much for your time, Norman, uh, joining me right now. Perhaps firstly, we want to ask, uh, establish, uh, you know, my, start, my startup established in 2021. Maybe you can share on why does my startup is important for the startup ecosystem as a whole, and uh, um, perhaps why is it important for the ecosystem? Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. First, before I start, I would like to uh, give a big appreciation to the government of Malaysia for actually bringing together uh, an international event such as KL20. I mean, uh, this is an unprecedented event where we bring uh, a lot of uh, investors, founders, and talents to come together from uh, uh, not just Malaysia, but from the region and outside of uh, Malaysia as well. So coming back to your uh, mm -hmm. question now, so my startup is actually uh, an initiative that was launched in 2021 under the larger uh, Malaysia Startup Ecosystem Roadmap 2021 mm -hmm. to 2030. So at first it was envisaged as a, a directory, a reference uh, for the startup ecosystem. But today and onwards, it will be elevated to become the single window for the entire Malaysian startup ecosystem. Now, I'm not just talking about uh, come, uh, bringing together all the facilitation, the funding, the support from the government services, mm -hmm. but also from the private institutions as well. So we have accelerators, private funders, private investors, and also other um, startup founders also who are actually coming back to invest into other startups. So, mm -hmm. so it becomes a, a focal point for the Malaysian startup ecosystem, not just for the, the people who are here, but also for the people overseas mm -hmm. who uh, want to venture into the Malaysian uh, startup ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And uh, speaking of uh, my startup, earlier Mosti announced that uh, through its minister, YB Minister Chang Li Kang, uh, that they may, uh, my startup is now the single window uh, initiative to strengthen Malaysian uh, startup ecosystem. And perhaps, Norman, perhaps you could share what are the uh, specific, uh, specific features or enhancements through this one stop platform and how can we uh, foster innovative or perhaps uh, elevate startup ecosystems in Malaysia? Thank you. So just imagine, um, as a startup founder in Malaysia, um, it's hard enough for you to find resources or information on how you're going to start your own business. I mean, I myself have actually gone through that um, kind of experience. Um, we first have to go to SSM to register, and even our company name has to be reviewed, uh, get all the business licenses, find the people, find the talent, uh, find the market, find the customer, every, all those are actually, we, we, uh, Malaysia, we have all that actually, all in place. But it's just that um, it's, it's high time for us to actually focus it. So if you can imagine for the startup founders, um, all information, not just about how to start your business, but also about resources, funding, events, networking opportunities, um, <clears throat> even the investment opportunities as well, in one single um, platform, but not just a platform, but also a persona for you to actually be curated into very specific um, experience that is uh, made tailored specifically for you as a startup founder. Now imagine if you're an investor. So it's hard enough for investors, a new investors to come in and try to learn the ecosystem as well. So they face um, similar challenges, but of course differently, um, on how to um, uh, navigate the regulations, right? How to set up a fund in Malaysia, how to transfer money and things like that. So there, in that single window platform as well, there is a curated a persona for investors as well to go through and delve into deeper into the Malaysian startup ecosystem, the regulatory part, but also to delve into what are the investable startups that are there right now in Malaysia, mm -hmm. who are actually open for investments, mm -hmm. so they can actually zone in without having to go through a co calling or anything like that. You know, just a one-stop uh, center for them. Mm -hmm. Now, the thirdly is for tech talents. So right now, I mean, that is a, a serious. Um, how to say, a uh, focus yeah. for the Malaysian uh, government to actually um, address 
the, the, tech, uh, the tech talent uh, problem. So within the startup ecosystem roadmap, actually we are also targeting 10,000 coders by 2030. So coders and other tech talents are integral part of a technology startup to be able to not just build but grow their business. So there is a special track persona for the tech talent themselves to I know, uh, to delve into the world of ecosystem, yeah. uh, startup ecosystem as well. So uh, startups can actually list down available jobs and the tech talent themselves also can list okay. their availability mm -hmm. and the matchmaking can happen mm -hmm. on that single platform as well. So imagine a unified uh, one, one stop center yes. for the whole ecosystem. And this is actually a great initiative where you can see an evolution in the whole uh, ecosystem of startups and investments. And uh, perhaps like you mentioned earlier, it helps to um, address the challenges such as the tech problem, the loopholes in the ecosystem. But how can my startup platform streamline all this process, all the services uh, towards making or perhaps enhancing the whole ecosystem of startup? Yep. So if you imagine the current ecosystem right now, if you're a founder, um, if you want to apply for a grant or any assistance or a program, you have to go, first you have to find where to, to, to apply. And then you have to go to a different application processes. So different agencies or different parties have different processes, different interfaces, you know? So imagine in the future where everything can just be streamlined via a single interface. You know? So you submit your application via this platform and you can immediately see, I mean, before this, you're just testing around because you have to ask the agency, can I apply for this? Am I eligible for this? I don't really understand. But this platform will help solve that. Streamline everything, all the facilitation that we have, like I said, not just under the government, but also the private as well. So, so that it can be specifically tailored for what you need at what stage you are within your uh, business development uh, growth or uh, plan. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, imagine um, for a startup founder, you go onto the platform, you key in uh, your details, of course, um, where you are at the stage of growth, uh, the kind of funding that you're looking for, the kind of support that you're looking for, uh, the amount of funding yeah. even, and then the platform will just do it pretty much all for you mm -hmm. and recommend to you the best facilitation, the best funding that will best fit your mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, speaking of uh, best funding, earlier um, uh, the ministry, the ministry said it aims to achieve 5,000 startups in Malaysia by 2025. And as mentioned by YB Minister Chang Lee Kang uh, just now, uh, it, he says that we have more than 3,900 startups recorded in my startup portal at the time. So how can we define uh, the startup in this regard? So, a startup, how would you find a startup, right? So typically what people would think that is a, is a company that's just starting their business. But actually under the Malaysian Startup Ecosystem Program, a startup is defined as a tech or innovation enabled company that is scalable with a high growth strategy. So, and the startup ecosystem actually covers end to end of the startup's journey. So they may become, so from the early stage when they start their tech business, to the mid stage as they grow and expand and into the late stage where they go public, they become IPO. So these are where you hear the grabs and the customs and then the early stage are the ones that are actually just testing with their idea, you know, and developing their product, trying to get their product market fit to get into the commercial Yeah, yeah, and it's to start selling into the market as well. And uh, uh, talking about aspirations, Malaysia aspires to be uh, or to rank among the top 20. Right now we're top 50, but we aim or aspire to be tw top 20 uh, countries in the global startup ecosystem by 2030, which is uh, six years uh, in total. And uh, perhaps uh, how does the Ahan single window can support these uh, initiatives or uh, aspirations? Imagine when you're trying to go up the ladder of ranking and you need to know where you are. You need to know what you have. You need to know... I mean, information and data is key right now in these days for us to actually advance ourselves. Yes, we have six years. But, you know, initiative like KL20, uh, the recently launched uh, Malaysia Venture Capital Roadmap, and of course the Super Roadmap as well. And there, there are uh, other uh, initiatives as well under MOSI and other uh, ministries within the, the government, which is to actually to accelerate the tech ecosystem here in Malaysia. So with that, I think we do have a very bright chance within the next six years to actually elevate ourselves. Now, my startup portal will play the key central role 
to interface between the ecosystem and what's happening uh, outside there as well. Mm-hmm. So it elevates the ecosystem via information and data. Mm-hmm. And indeed, to propel Malaysia into the world's top 20 startup hub by 2030, and also uh, to require uh, to be uh, to get 400 million investment uh, for uh, the startup ecosystem, we do need a, a paradigm shift. And of course, uh, I would like to say thank you to Norman Matthew Van Hacker, the Group CEO of Cradle Fund, uh, Sunyam Thank you for your time. Perhaps to speak to you soon in the future. Awesome. Thank you. Mm-hmm.